Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created this minty glittery makeup look. So the first thing I'm going to do is of course prime my eyelids. I'll be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid using a P84 brush from Sigma Beauty. I'm just pressing this all over the eyelid until I find that you can't any you can't see any redness anymore and this will leave me with a nice blank space to apply all my eyeshadows on. Then I'm using the shade White Lies from Makeup Geek. In today's video I'm using a lot of single eyeshadows and this is just a really nice matte white eyeshadow. So I'm going to use a very tiny brush from Morphe Brushes and I'm going to use this eyeshadow to apply it underneath the eyebrow to really highlight and make my brow look a little bit more lifted. I just got my eyebrows waxed. Um, this was the first video I filmed after getting them waxed and I feel like they look so sharp. I'm really happy. Also, I got them colored by a Benefit um, Cosmetics Brow Specialist and I think I have to do this more often because they look so sharp. So then the next shade I'm going in with is by Colourpop Cosmetics in the shade Checkmate. And this is like a minty, soft, matte color. And I'm going to use this all over in my crease using a Sigma E40 brush. I'm just going to blend this back and forth. Then the next color I'm going in with is my makeup geek called Dragonfly. This is like a minty color as well, but just a little bit darker. So I'm going to blend this in my crease as well using a blending brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush collection. And I'm going to focus first a little bit in my outer V, then blending it more towards my crease. I want this to be a little bit lower than where I just applied the other minty color, um, but just to darken it up slightly. So I know Makeup Geek has uh, discontinued a lot of their eyeshadows. So I'm not quite sure um, if all of the eyeshadows that I'm using in today's video are still available. I do hope so because some of the eyeshadows I'll be using today are one of my favorite eyeshadows and I have used them in so many videos. But just so you know, there are a few that are discontinued. So now the next shade I'm going in with is called Dark Roast. I think this is quite a new color that they recently launched. It's a very nice kind of cool tone brown color and it's also a matte eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this with a more tinier brush, also a brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush collection. And starting with pressing that in my outer V area um, just to kind of darken it up. Then I felt like, okay, I need a bigger brush. So I went in with the same blending brush I used before for my crease, starting to blend this like in circular motions and then blending it more upwards towards my crease area. Then now I'm taking some black eyeshadow and this is the Corrupt Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This is a very intense black eyeshadow. The only thing I don't really like about this eyeshadow is that it has a lot of fallout. I think this is like my third eyeshadow from them and when you press your eyeshadow, they, when you press your brush into the eyeshadow, it just kind of breaks. So when you take it with you uh, traveling, it can kind of destroy all of your eyeshadows because it gets everywhere. But besides that, it is very intense black. So now I'm going to take the shade Voltage from Makeup Geek, which is like a very soft, shimmery, kind of, yeah, how can I explain it? It's kind of a golden green kind of finish. And it's really beautiful to use for like a inner corner highlights. So I'm going to press this at the beginning part of my eyelid. I'm going to take it up quite high because I'm really feeling those high up eyeshadow looks. I just think it looks so pretty. It makes it look a little bit more smoky and dramatic. So I'm going quite high with my brush. And the brush that I am using right now is the MAC 242. One of my favorite brushes all time. I keep saying this in every video, but I just feel like everyone needs this brush because it's really good. So now I'm taking the Venice eyeshadow from Anastasia Belle Hills. 
a very gorgeous kind of aqua kind of color <laughs> that's a very gorgeous metallic finish so i'm going to apply this all over my eyelids um, i wanted to use like a glittery uh, blue color from one of the newest glitters that Anastasia has launched so I kind of searched for an eyeshadow that looked really similar to this glitter and I wanted to use this underneath the glitter as a base because I feel like if you apply glitter you need kind of a metallic shade underneath it I just feel like it looks so much better instead of applying it on a matte eyeshadow so now I'm going to use that glitter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to apply this using a dazzle lock from Smolder Cosmetics this is a glitter glue. It has a very sticky consistency. So I'm first going to press that all over the eyelid. And then I'm going in with this glitter from Anastasia Beverly Hills on top of it. Then now I'm going to use the Armed and Gorgeous palette from the Morphe and Jack and Hill Fold Collection. I'm taking the shade VIP with a dose of colors pencil brush and I'm going to press this in the inner corner area. I really want like a sort of pop in my inner corner and I think that shade is really beautiful. So I'm using that dose of color pencil to press that in the inner corner. Now for my one line, I'm taking a pencil from Marc Jacobs Beauty. I'm not really sure what the name is, but I will put the name in the description bar. I feel like this really suits with the eyeshadow colors. So I'm applying this all over in my one line. Then for underneath the low lash line, I'm going back in with the shade Checkmate from Colourpop. That was that same shade which I started with with blending in my crease. So I'm taking a Morphe M506 brush and I'm just going to blend it back and forth all the way underneath my lower lash line. And now for my next shade, I'm going in with the shade Dragonfly from Colourpop Cosmetics. Going back in with the pencil brush from Dose of Colors and blending this shade underneath the lower lash line as well. Since I used the same shade in my crease, it's now really easy to blend it towards my outer V area because these shades are already there. So this way you can really connect them easily. So now I'm taking the VIP eyeshadow again, applying a little bit more underneath the lower lash line, but keeping it like mainly in the inner corner area. And I used a smudge brush from Sigma. Now I'm using this lash curler from Tarte Cosmetics, which is one of their newest lash curlers, which is really cute with that pineapple at the bottom. And then for my mascara, I used the Tarte Cosmetics Light Scarma Lashes Mascara. And now you can see the end result with some lashes on. The lashes that I'm wearing are snobby lashes from my own lash company, Anitude. And uh, yeah, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And please let me know in the comments what kind of makeup look you want to see next. I could definitely use some inspiration. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Also, if you have any idea what I can do when I hit 1 million subscribers, Subscribers, let me know in the comments as well. I want to do something special, but I'm not really sure yet. So if you have any ideas, let me know and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Free, 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 free.